Hi everybody, welcome back to RimWorld. We're back. It's uh, we're we're here like, once again in Wilson Phillips, our colony of Poopsville. We're um, we're doing it. Uh, we've restricted animals from entering the weed growing hydroponics lab. Also, where we're growing some indoor potatoes. Not as good as the outdoor kind, but still pretty good. Rob is recovering, uh, fully recovered actually, from his wounds. That was pretty good. Uh, we probably don't need April on hunting duty anymore. Uh, she's a novelist. We're going to get her to write some steamy romance novels in and around Jalil and Svetlana, who, sadly, are both dead. Svetlana was killed by a lancer trying to melee it for some goddamn reason. I'm not sure why. And, um, oh, Rob needs to pick up his uh, sniper rifle from out in the field here as well. Nobody's decided to come out here and pick it up. It's still covered in blood. Blood's probably been washed away. We had a bit of rain and stuff, so that's okay. But we're still surviving against all the odds. It's been, it's been a weird and wacky one so far. Um, it's kind of working somehow, and I'm not, I'm not entirely sure why. Anyway, st structure, we want to deconstruct these walls here. I think we wanted to open this up and make it uh, a place that we so that we could store more of this stuff. Um, cloth and whatnot. We wanted like an indoor area for it, right? We're going to need some floors here. Uh, we're going to need to make them slate tile to match the rest. And hopefully this heat wave will stop soon. We still have a heat wave. It's 47 degrees outside. Rob is wearing like a full parka and a... He's, he's doing a Martin Lawrence out there. He's got like full winter gear on and it's 47 degrees. The heat wave is not going away. And it, indoors, it's 41 degrees as well. I mean, people are going to have to... Okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Look, everybody, come in and cool down, okay? We're doing this for the greater good. We don't want heat stroke. Everybody's going to come in here and instead get the flu. Because, of course, if you know anything about getting the flu, you'll know that... It revolves around you being hot one minute and then cold the next. Okay, everybody. Don't worry. It's freezing in here. Everybody just come in for a good old cool down. Bring some doobies if you want to. That should be fine. The dog and the ostrich can die of heat stroke for all I care. Well, actually, no. They're good to have around. because And the tortoise, too. Because they're not allowed into the weed and potato area. They're making a mess. I mean, look. They're going in here. They're just going in there to eat the weed now. Oh, wait. No, they're sleeping now. Cargo pods. Wonderful. Hang on a second. Let's see where these cargo pods are. What have they dropped? Wart. Perfect. Okay. You know what? I think we have some beers on the way as well. I completely forgot that we were actually brewing up some some beers. Look at this. This one's almost ready. It's uh, overheating, though. It's at 98%. And this one also is overheating at 98%. Um, oh God, I guess we're going to have to have like another air conditioner in here. It's a, we're going to have to keep it cool. As cool as we can keep it. It needs to be between like a certain temperature, right? Ideal temperature is between 7 and 32 degrees Celsius. Ball sacks. Okay. It looks like everybody is feeling better now. Um, everybody's cooled off. It's only 34 degrees inside. It's like 41 degrees outside. Okay, we're going to get this thing. It looks like we lost... We, we ru it ruined it. The heat wave has ruined all of our beer and a heater is broken down as well. What heater? That's fine, you know. That, that'll be fine for now, I guess. It's 41 degrees Celsius inside the base right now. I'm not sure. I guess we have to have, like, as many air conditioners as we have heaters, possibly, just to keep things, like, regulated. Oh, man. It's just, like, another thing to think about and, and worry about. It's... Oh, God. Okay, We'll, we'll do it. It's fine. I'm lazy, but you know what? We, we'll, we'll do it. We'll make it happen. I think we need some more wood as well. So I'll start getting some trees chopped. It looks like everybody is sleeping. And sadly, poor Svetlana. Look at that. Her empty room. She All of her trinkets and doodads just lined up really nicely because she was very particular that way. Um, I wonder if I go into restrict and I go to manage areas and I go to the, um, oh wait, no, you have to go, uh, such a weird thing, right? It's like in here, expand allowed area. And then we have to say, stop eating the weed. And then we have to say, don't ever go in here, but then we'd have to like invert it. Oh God. Or maybe I've got this wrong. Like that seems to be working though. They don't seem to be going in there. 
Like, how do I say, oh, clear a loud area? No. Is there, like, a way that I can, like, cut out, like, a shift? Alt. No. Right click doesn't work either. Allowed areas. Clear allowed areas. Oh, God, I didn't want to do that. Okay. Well, I'll figure it out at some other point. Look, allowed areas. This, forbids, this can be used to, for example, forbid colonists from going outside. You can create multiple allowed areas and assign them to different colonists and animals. Oh, so I can just assign another one. Ah, jeez. Okay, fine. Manage areas. We're going to do a new animal area. We're going to say, no, really. Stop Stop eating the weed. Okay, look. No, no, no. No weed eating, please. And then we're going to need another one as well, I think. Uh, so we're going to name this one. And and also, also the food. Okay, we don't want them in there eating the food either. So, okay. So we have um, a whole bunch of uh, areas now. So if I go into here. Oh, God. This is really something else. Expand a loud area. And we say... Um, stop, no weed eating, please. And then we say here. And then we go expand allowed area and also the food. And then we say here. Right? And then if I go into, uh, restrict, manage areas. And I say, uh, stop eating the weed, no weed eating, please. And I invert that. And then I say, and also the food. And I invert that. Then I'm at the same place. And hopefully the dog and the ostrich and the tortoise. The tortoise? The tortoise <laughs> won't go into this area, this area, or uh, this area, the growing area. That means that they'll have to go out and... Okay, heel root is done. I thought that was going to be a colonist. That means they'll have to go outside to eat stuff, right? Which is a little bit better. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to say zone area, stockpile zone, and we want to expand this out. And we want to get all of our leathers and stuff and cloth stored in here. I'm pretty sure that this is currently going to... Manufactured, textile, all textiles, cloth included. Perfect. So now all this stuff doesn't need to sit outside or in the hallway and stuff. Nice. Okay, I'm liking that. There's a lot of food outside that needs to be hauled as well. There's lots of rice. There's a ton of rice. For some reason, it's not being stored in here. Let's see. Meals, raw food, rice. Meat, vegetarian, rice. Okay, perfect. We we'll just have a... We have a whole bunch of hauling jobs to be done, and nobody is doing them for some goddamn reason. Don't ask me why. Theo, Kat, and Engie have decided that it's better to go out and haul in all of this wart. I guess everybody is dying for some suds, and I don't blame them. I'm also looking forward to having some suds. All right, so this room's temperature, we want to keep this uh, between, I guess, 21 degrees is about right. It's currently in here right now, 21 degrees. Uh, currently outside, it's 49 degrees. So this is work. This means that now we can do... We're, we're within the ideal temperature for the fermenting barrels to work. Um, so I guess we're going to have to have some more, um, some more of these things to keep the temperature down. We're going to have some coolers to keep the temperatures down generally, not just like freezing everybody out. I guess we could maybe put one like here. Try to keep, like, this hallway at least nice and cool. Okay, let's try that. And then further further along the line, we can get some, like, in here. Because I wonder... Actually, it's probably not too bad that this is, like, too hot, right? Temperature growth multiplier is, like, 80%. It's non-ideal temperature, apparently. What's not ideal about 45 degrees Celsius? What, it has to be, like, more room temperature? <laughs> okay, fine. We'll, uh, we'll try to do something about that, too. We have cat who's gotten some food poisoning from a simple meal. And it looks like Frito is wearing some tattered apparel uh, that she does not like. I'm guessing that it's something to do with this Synthread t-shirt that's... Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's drop that and we'll, we'll get you a better shirt, okay? We'll get April. We'll do a bill here for a better t-shirt. Let's uh, do this one time. Okay, perfect. Let's make a couple more dusters as well. And we might as well make a couple of pants too. We have all of these, all of these things here, currently, like all of this leather, and we have b a bunch of cloth and stuff, and we're not even using like half of it. It's crazy. We have so many jobs outstanding that nobody's doing. It's like slowly happening, but very, very slowly. 
All right, perfect. And how are we doing here? Uh, we might, we're gonna get, we're eventually gonna get some beer. This heat wave is still going, still 42 degrees outside. It's nuts. What's the temperature in here? Uh, 30 degrees? That's starting to cool things down a little bit in this hallway. It's pretty nice, actually. Um, Natalia has given birth. Who is Natalia? Oh my fucking god. What are you doing? You're not even allowed in here. It's meant to be restricted. Oh shit, now we got a little puppy that's coming into the res- the, the fucking two puppies! Three fucking puppies! Oh shit! That's too many puppies! Oh, it's like 101 Dalmatians all over again! Oh fuck, we're gonna have to slay these puppies! I don't wanna slay puppies! Oh, there's a blight! It's destroyed all of our crops! Shit, it's mysterious as well, maybe it's something to do with the puppies! Oh, I'll tell you what, this restricted zone is not working, because look, these fucking... This dog has given birth. Not only is he in the forbidden zone, but he's given birth in the in the forbidden zone. To 101 puppies! Ah, fuck. I fucking... I like puppies a lot, I'm not gonna lie, but... I don't want puppies in the colony eating us out of house. Don't you fucking dare! This is restricted! I, I've got this wrong. I've got this fucking all wrong. Holy shit. Okay. No food, no weed, and stop eating the weed. There, bitch. Get out of there. We're gonna, I'm gonna... Natalia fucking giving birth. Who fucking impregnated Natalia? There's no other fucking dogs around here. Oh, look, Kepler's mourning Jalil. <laughs> he's like, he's whispering, I have a dark secret, Jalil. Oh, I can only tell you because you're dead and there's no chance of you ever telling anyone. I impregnated Natalia with my man juice. Oh my fucking god. These restricted don't don't... Oh god! Fucking slaughter the ostrich, look. Okay, it's not working at all. What the fuck? What the fuck, restricted areas? Why? This makes no fucking sense. Stop eating the weed! Get out of there! Why are you in there eating the weed? No animals allowed! It's a no- Fuck me! Okay, maybe this will work now. This is the- this is the same setup we had last time. It's too late for the ostrich, we're slaughtering it. I'm- I'm so pissed about the whole thing. I've seen- the dogs are going in there and eating when they're not meant to be! These fucking puppies! We're gonna banish them! We're gonna completely banish them from being inside somehow. If I can figure out this shitty fucking... It's awful. It, it's so bad. How the fuck does this make any fucking sense to anybody in the entire world? It's the worst. Jeez. Not that I'm mad about it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm kind of mad about it. It makes no sense. Alright, anyway. Maybe we're just gonna have to live with the fucking puppies eating us out of house and home. So annoying. Okay, well, we're regrowing the potatoes, the indoor potatoes. That's a good thing. Cat is regrowing all the cotton fields. This is good. This will make it so that we can make lots more clothing. I guess that's a good thing. Uh, we have an idle colonist, and it looks like Frito, Cat, and NG are all pissed about having a uh, tattered apparel. This heat wave is still fucking going, if you can believe that. It's not stopping April from being outside in 45 degree weather in a duster and a toque playing horseshoes, she's probably gonna like completely uh, dehydrate. Actually, health-wise, she's doing pretty good. She's not feeling the burn at all. Uh, one thing that'll definitely cool these guys down, I'm sure, is beer. So once we actually have some beer online, that'll be a good thing. It's gonna be real nice. I don't know why we're not hauling food into here. Oh, it looks like we're having a party. Nice. Good idea, April. What a great fucking idea. Let's get a cooler in here as well. Another cooler. Let's keep this room, the party room, room temperature. Holy crap, these guys know how to fucking party. Look at this. Everybody is smoking dupes. They're doing some freestyle gangster raps in there together as well. They're like, go NG, it's your birthday. We're gonna party like it's your birthday. Motherfucker, it's not your birthday. And everybody's like, oh, whoa. And NG's like, fuck you guys. It's my fucking birthday. It is my birthday. You forgot. And everybody's like, oh, shit, we fucking forgot. We're high as fuck on them. Doobies. We're just doing doobies all the time. It looks like the party might be over, actually. 
And April is like the master party thrower. Holy shit. Everybody can come in here and admire this mar marble large sculpt sculpture. Poor. Vision number 99. <laughs> wow. Vision number 99. That's some deep shit right there. Like, that's what you want to call all of your art, if given the chance, right? So any, any budding young artists out there, if you're struggling to think of what you want to call your next masterpiece, vision number 99. That's the one. That's the one that you got to go for every time. We have uh, just so much food. Um, and we're harvesting lots of uh, food. And there's just a lot of rice just spoiling out here. I'm not sure why it's not being hauled in here. Like, are, are we just low on haulers? Who can haul stuff? Uh, let's see, hauling. Everybody can haul, but nobody will haul. Look at this. We got lots of hops here, too. I don't know why these aren't being hauled. Warts as well. Like, why aren't we prioritizing hauling? Let's get some, let's get like a priority here uh, of hauling. Let's say hauling is definitely a uh, restrict a sign. Social drugs, current outfit, clear forest, anything. Anything. Manage outfits. Select an outfit. Worker. Whoa. This is pretty good. Nudist. Apparel. Okay. This is nice. Let's clear all and let's just actually delete this outfit. The worker outfit. We'll come back to this. Holy crap. Uh, th this is not something I... Oh. Oh. I see. I see. Okay, don't slaughter him, okay? He's allowed in these areas. We don't want him in. We don't want him in these areas. I see. He's allowed in only these areas, so you do have to invert it. Okay, we have to invert this one, and we have to invert this one. He's allowed in the, those areas, but he's not allowed in these areas now. This, these are his allowed areas. He's allowed... Oh, wait. Yeah, and, and that. Okay, this is all the, all dogs go to heaven. He's no, the, he's allowed in these. Okay, I see, but wait, why is he in there then? It's not working. Unrestricted. What's the unrestricted areas? It's all unrestricted. Oh, that's wait. Okay, so he's allowed in the home area. Oh, I see. He's allowed in the home area, and that's why. So we have to say, like, you can only be in the... Oh, I see. Okay, I see. We want him to be only in the stop eating. Okay, is, does that work now? Will that work? Stop eating weed. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I don't know if you can select multiples or what. I have no idea. What's all this crap here? Oh, man, I really need to look at some of these menus in more detail. Uh, it's starting to make a little bit of sense now. Although, having said that, though, Taos, the female Labrador puppy, who is healthy, seems to be in an area that they're not meant to be in. Okay, I'm just saying. But maybe it's because of the home thing or something. I'm not sure. We'll have to look into it. Research has come to a grinding halt. We've been researching gun turrets for what feels like a thousand years, and we've made no progress. And that could be... Because we've lost a couple of people and stuff, but whatever. Uh, this blight and this heat wave is still not happening. Okay, the heat wave is gone, apparently. I left the thing open. Bill complete. Make pants. Nice. We've made some pants. So we can now assign outfits to people. Uh, and we can get everybody wearing the same shit. And then we can get some bills to reflect that instead of just, like, manually doing it for each person. Which, up until now, has worked out kind of okay, but... I don't know. I mean, I don't know what the hell everybody is doing. There's all this rice spoiling outside. Grits has gotten food poisoning from some bad rice now as well. Nobody seems to want to clean up all of the blood that is just everywhere here. Like, there's just too many jobs right now, I think. I think we need to, like, prioritize some jobs and get on top of things a little bit. What the fuck is that? Holy shit. Okay, everybody, get inside. This is like the loudest thunderstorm of all time. You do not... Oh, look, they are starting to haul the rice. Good. 
I don't know what took so long. Look, they're reorganizing the rice. Okay, look, it's it's starting to give now. Look, the job queues are dwindling down. There's not too many jobs, so hopefully we'll get some cleaning done as well. We're just, like, flushing out the job queue at this point. Wait, how is this doing? Oh, 22%, baby. Man, we should have had that cooler in there the whole time. I think we got up to, like, 98%, and then the um, the temperature from the heat wave just completely iced all of our beer. Not the best. This stuff should be under cover of a roof. It is. Okay, that's perfect. It might not... Might not be wise, everybody, to be outside in the thunderstorm that's happening right now. Like, I would try to get inside as soon as possible. We don't want somebody getting struck by lightning. That's for damn sure. Jesus Christ, these people. Look, out, they're out again. There's a fire, apparently. Oh, yeah, no, the rain is going to get it, though. That's fine. And where? Oh, yeah, there's still some wart to pick up. Okay, well, at least we've hauled in all of the food. This is pretty good. We have, like, a freezer just filled with food for years now. This is nice. We're going to be able to make a lot of simple meals out of that. And we might even be able to go crazy and start making some better meals. In fact, let's do that. Let's cook some fine meals. We're going to cook fine meals until we have, like, 20 of them. We're going to do, the, like, 20 of them. Um, what else got hit by fire? Oh, one of our crops just got hit, hit by lightning lit on fire. Okay, well, there we go. We're doing good. Fine. Rob is doing some cleaning. He's cleaning up all the blood and the barf and stuff as well. Um, we're in the middle of a big thunderstorm, but because it's raining, um, all the fires are being put out, so this is good. And we're sort of getting on top of everything. Slowly, but surely. And sorry for getting so mad about the restricted areas and stuff like that. I, 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 I'm annoyed. I couldn't figure it out. But I feel like maybe I, I understand it now. But we'll see. Alright, well, uh, as usual, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time!